Hey there, folks. Welcome to the Stu's Game Reviews live stream. It is March 10th, sort of. The, the early morning of March 10th, 12.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Also March 9th evening, you can call it in some other time zones. Uh, we're here with another Atari 2600 game. The game I have here today is called Bugs Bunny. Now, this is an interesting one because it was not actually released um, by Atari. So the story behind this is fairly as follows. This game was developed in 1983 um, and it was almost finished. And the, what I read is Atari play tested the game and along with another title called, called Snoopy, I believe in the Red Baron, I think it's called. And the Snoopy game got a little bit better reception from where kids were playing it. So they decided to release the Snoopy game and cancel the Bugs Bunny game. I don't know why they didn't release both, but they canceled the Bugs Bunny game. And uh, the original programmer, his name was Bob Polaro, um, had a copy of the, of the code. Apparently there was a prototype that was leaked um, a long time ago, like back in the, probably in the 80s or something, and people had a, an unfinished copy of this game. But um, in 2002, the programmer, Bob Polaro, decided to finish the game. Like, it was probably, like, almost done. They just, just polished a few things up or whatever and get into a releasable state and then release it on the, uh, not on the internet. They actually sold a bunch of copies at, like, I think Classic Gaming Expo that year. And so he was also there signing copies. This copy that I that supposedly, I didn't buy it directly from the Classic Gaming Expo or Fully Classic or whatever it was. Um, supposedly, though, this is one of the ones that was originally sold then, although it's not signed by him. So the guy that, the guy that um, it was published by Atari2600.com, I think, which I never had heard of. And um, the guy that sold it to me said that he, he bought it directly from Atari2600.com back in the day. Um, you can tell it's like a, a fan-made or like an amateurish box because, um, if you can see, but like, you can see the, the, the edge a little rough and there's some glue sticking out and stuff like that. But for the most part, it looks it looks really good. Um, and they, you know, made it look like a standard style, you know, Atari 2600 you know, box from back in the day. Um, I never played this before. I, it looks pretty cool. I mean, the graphics are, are nice from my perspective. Um... I never played this before, so I'll try to I'll try to play it for the first time now. What it says on the back here is stop, look out, Elmer. You're gonna hurt someone with that old shotgun. What's up, Doc? I can't do Bugs Bunny's voice like Bugs Bunny's only looking for some tasty carrots to eat. That that wascally wabbit. Elmer Fudd would rather make Bugs Bunny stew. Be very, very quiet. Elmer is hunting wabbits. Bugs Bunny stew, that's spelled S T E W by the way, not S T U. The object of the game is to pick carrots while avoiding the shotgun blast from one Mr. Elmer Fudd. Elmer may not be the shrewdest hunter, but he's certainly persistent. Three shots from Elmer's gun, and that's all, folks. You score of points, you successfully dive into your hole. When all three levels are complete, the next round begins with Elmer and his bolts moving faster. There's a two-player game where a second player can control Elmer. And so here's, uh, on the back, it also says, like, uh, one or two players, or at least prototype. They put, like, this winners don't use drugs thing. I don't know why they put that there. I don't think that was a generic thing on Atari boxes back in the day. Um, here's the uh, here's the the cartridge itself, same you know type same artwork basically, and then here is the manual. So the manual also has a little bit of interesting stuff around this game. It says uh, Bugs Bunny is the creative product of former Atari game designer and programmer Mr. Bob Polaro. Bob was employed by Atari from 1978 through 1984. His efforts on Bugs Bunny followed his other highly respected and admired Atari 2600 games, Defender, Real Sports Volleyball, Desert Falcon, Sprint Master, Roadrunner, and Rampage. I don't think I, those are any of those are really my favorites for the 2600, but that's, that doesn't mean anything. As well as familiar prototype titles such as Dukes of Hazard, Stunt Cycle, and Holy Moly. Bob continues his career from his home base in Santa Cruz, California. The Atari 2600 Bugs Bunny game has been known in its incomplete prototype form for many years. This preliminary development copy was playtested by Atari, which may account for its existence in today's collector's community. The game was held up for release by Atari, 
pending the addition of play features deemed necessary for commercial success, and were the second player option and the house graphic allowing for bugs to steal bullets from Elmer. Only one original example of the complete code of this game is known. Code 1983, the, this, the Bugs Bunny game you own is a completely authentic reproduction of the finished Bugs Bunny game as it would have appeared in store shelves in the fall of 1984. It also says the game is an original Easter egg which is yet to be found, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to find it, but um, anyway. So, I mean, this is an interesting one because, again, it's not, it wasn't religiously released in 1983, but um, it's... Uh, it's, it's sort of an official, not, it's not an official retire release, but my point is, it's like, it's like, a, like just like a prototype that like 50 different websites decided to publish as a cartridge and they, they did that, whatever. This was actually a cartridge suppo- apparently published by the original programmer. So from my perspective, that's pretty cool and definitely glad to have a copy and certainly Bugs Bunny is an iconic you know character, so... Um, and on that note, actually, let me exit this game and and restart it because it looks. I don't know if there's with her sound during the game, but when you first turn it on, there's some nice sound. So I want you guys to hear that. Hold on a second. Was that too loud? Probably. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's do that again. Not so loud. So it's like a classic like Looney Tunes theme. Hey, always asleep. How's it going? So, I would say just up front, the graphics I think are really nice. Um, this is your graphic I can sort of live or you know do without. But honestly, I like the way Bugs Bunny looks in the actual game. I like how he jumps and also runs. For a 2600 game, it's pretty good. Um, and Elmer Fudd looks a little bit too, like, chibi for me. Bugs Bunny's like a death, death animation also. The, the dog looks good. It reminds me of the Duck Hunt dog a little bit. Well, you just see his butt for the most part. Um, all right, let's try to play this thing. I don't, I don't really know how to control it at all, but I'll try to figure it out. All right, it's Elmer Fudd. Where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> I'm already dead. That was quick. How do you continue? Oh, all right. it says you're supposed to pick which level you want to appear on. That's how you do it. I mean, I don't know why I would pick the top unless I'm being stupid. Now I'm on the bottom. I still like it hit me. How do I jump? I like that. The button. But you gotta hit, hit, you, you can't hold the button down and, and jump. You gotta keep on. Oh, I see how it works. Let's try it. Actually, it's a little weird how it works here. I went to a hole. I got forty points. Oh, okay, and I can come out again. Well, I can't come back to the same level. I gotta go a different level. It's so weird. The dog digs me out of the hole. I guess. I'm trying to figure out how to control the damn thing. I fell in the hole by accident. Okay, um, now there's three trees. Does that mean like I'm a level two or something? I guess the shoe much faster now. He's real psycho, this guy. I didn't even to do that. All right, I have to go to the top one. But you can't go through the... All right. So this is a new game. I got 90 points. Let's try this again. Let's see if I can... So you can't go... Th- you can't go from one side to the other. The jumping is... You can jump at any time. It's meant to be jumping in a hole. That's what you're supposed to do with the jumping. Come on! How am I supposed to dodge that? I, he just shot me. I know what to do. Let's try this again. Phew! 
how are we supposed to get past? I mean, I kind of understand if you're not on the top level. Whoa, Jesus. Let me see the instructions again here. But if you guys like this stuff, make sure you, if you're watching this after the fact, you like this and subscribe to this stupid channel. Alright, let's do this again. As bug buddies, select the level you wish to begin stealing carrots on. Move the controller up and down, stopping you've highlighted the level of your choice. Press the fire button. The carrot disappears from below bugs. Elmer's dog will dig bugs out of his burrow. Quickly dive out of the seat of your hole by pressing the fire button. Time you can jump to land directly on top of the hole. A miss and you'll have to readjust your feet and jump again. Elmer has taken notice of your carrot stealing and is after you with a shotgun. Avoid the bullets and return to the round hole. That's, that's basically what I was doing. Um, da, 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 da. Game select. Game difficulty. A position difficulty. A position slow Elmer. D position fast Elmer. It's probably on B. Let me try to make it A. Give myself a chance here. He can run an ammo for a brief moment. Oh, you're right. It shows his ammo there. That's actually a good point. I didn't realize that. Why is your... It says here he's eight bullets. Um, games one and three are one-player games. Two for two-player games. You can possibly score 10 to 70 points at each level. Maximum points are achieved by quickly returning to the rabbit hole. 100 points are awarded when Bug steals Elmer's bullets. See helpful hints. What? Additional life is awarded at a thousand points. Score big and relax with an entertaining intermission featuring Bugs, Elmer, and some special friends. Bugs can move from one side of the screen to the other by jumping off the screen. Bugs must be in the air to perform this wraparound move. Use the move attack to fool Elmer or avoid his shots. You can earn extra points by stealing Elmer's bullets when you're on the top level. Press the fire button when Bugs is directly below Elmer's cache of bullets. Go for the bullets in every round. So, I maybe mean, it's not a good idea to go when there's no bullets because you can't steal them. This is so weird. Oh, I stole them. I stole his bullets. Oh, we got back. I stole them again. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what the hell was that? He shot me in the ass. Oops. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. No, 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 no. Ah, I stole your bullets, asshole. This is how play you've had in America. Ah! If that's all you gotta do, steal his bullets. Can I go back to the top now? No, you can't. You can only go to a place with his carrots. How much, you, how much points you need to get, to get like, uh, a new extra life with a thousand? It's sort of weird that, like, you can just sit here indefinitely and wait until, uh, yeah, a thousand points you get a free life. Ah, I, see, I, did the, I pulled off the, the move to jump to the other side. Aha. Uh -huh. You suck, Elmer. I'm sorry I get the hang of this Bugs Bunny thing. Ah, I got your bullets. <laughs> this is not bad, actually. I got extra. I got extra bugs there. Shit. I got his bullets. Or oh, what happened there? He shot me. Though I, th I thought I got them. What are the points you need to get the high score that they're talking about? Like to get to the intermission. Jeez. He gets those bullets back really fast. 
<laughs> because he got those bullets back super fast in this round. Which is interesting. Wow, he's a fucking machine gun. He got like a freaking machine gun. <laughs> I got 1900. I thought that I was doing okay, and then all of a sudden, like, he blew me away with his, with his freaking, like, M16. What do you think of this Always Asleep? It's an interesting game. Are you the only person here for, for some reason today? I mean, it's too late. Um, you know what? I'm going to get a refill on my soda, while, and then I'm going to attempt this again. But first, I get a refill. So hang on one second. I'll be right back. So Always Asleep says, a little more to it than I thought at first. He was pretty okay. Very high praise there. But I, I agree. I mean, it's, I'm. you never know, like, in a game like this, it wasn't released. Maybe it's, like, a total piece of crap. But this is better than I expected. I get my headphones back in. Wow, it's really hot. At the beginning, it starts off sort of easy. But then, oh, what happened? I... Oh, that was shit. I, I somehow froze. Let me try it again. So he gets his ammo back really fast the second time around. Which is, like, sort of hard. That first round was easy. What's, what's the maximum number of points that you can get in a round? I think it's at 70, but you can possibly score with 10 to 70 points on each level. I guess they mean like each level. And then 100 points are awarded when Buck steals Elmer's bullets. Now, do you get 100 points every time you steal the bullets or only the first time? That's sort of important. <laughs> Jeez, just shot me in the ass. Let's see this. Hold on a second. That's 100 points. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? 200 points. No, stop jump. Why does he... Why did he do that? I just pressed the button to take his bullets. Why did he jump? You fucking idiot. If you're gonna jump, don't jump to the other side. Elvis stay right there. Show you how, how cheap can I be here? Was just that, that that's that's not, not cheap at all. Apparently, is the answer. Oh God! What's the controls are, are broken? Why? Why? I don't understand why sometimes when I. When I press the... I'm not... I'm not like, I'm not pre moving the joystick. How come sometimes I press the button, I steal the bullets, but other times it makes me jump? Look, I don't want... I didn't want to jump. 
Maybe you can only... Okay, maybe you have to move it after you take the bullets. No, that's not the reason. User error skill issue. No, it's not a freaking user error. It's a... Game error. Is it up or something? Let's see what it says in the manual. Press the fire button with bugs directly below Albert's cache of bullets. That's all it says. Uh, that's all it says. It's also weird the way that, like, you can stay, like, in the ground like this indefinitely. I don't like any points, but, like, in most games, they would, like, throw you out. Like, the dog would come and, like, throw you out or something like that would happen. I mean, I know it would be really cheap, but, like, but why, but why, why isn't my cheapness working? Did I, did I go in the hole or did I die? I'm not sure what happened there. I think I fell in the hole. Now it's like so much harder because he's freaking like kamikaze man. Look, I can't. What am I doing wrong? I gotta, I gotta practice until I can actually pull it off because otherwise, like, it's just bullshit. Why did that happen? And why does he keep shooting me in the ass, by the way? I'm getting very frustrated. I don't... I don't. This feels like a non-deterministic game. And then I came and, like... Right here, shoot me. Got me. The way he shoots, like, it's possible he can get you if he'll do anything wrong at all. Man, was it right under it? <laughs> I'm getting very upset. I know I'm, I know I'm trying to be cheap, but, like, it's not the point. If, I, if, if the controls are, are, are not perfect, then you can't play a game. And he keeps, like, shooting me, too. Every time I go through this fucking screen. Always asleep, what am I doing wrong? I'm trying to figure like get my pen controls. <laughs> Can't be never happened. I mean I guess I just, it's, it's like a prototype, but the original programmer supposedly like did their own shit, so well, why did it not work? It's, it's 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 I guess it's 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 worth it's like a worthless thing to do because but also like how many points do you need to get to see intermission? I want to say like on the on the internet side anywhere. Let me see. Let's see here. Well, but also there's, there's a success. There's a Bugs Bunny Easter egg too, uh, which apparently has never been found. And the Easter egg is probably like you know get the thing to actually work properly.
Yeah, it doesn't say anything about uh, about how many points you need, as far as I can tell. All right, well, I'm gonna keep on trying. I take a dump on you, Doc. What's up, Doc? Mm, my, my name is Mike Matei, Doc. I really want to get the hang of these controls. Are you the angry video game nerd, Doc? It takes too long to do this safely. If I could do it like quickly, without like the threat of dying, <laughs> that would be lawsuit coming. See, if I if I I can't do it safely because because it does I can't do it quickly because the controls are broken. If I could, this would be so much easier. Because since, since I can't control what I'm gonna jump and what I'm gonna take the bullets, unfortunately. That's a big problem. Also, what makes that music happen? The -doo 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 -doo. What controls that? That means the bullets came back? No. Doesn't mean that. Yeah, I'm showing you my rectum, Doc. Come over here and stick a bullet through it. Do you like that, Doc? You like Bugs Bunny? I think it'll make you jump if it's, like, bad for you. Ain't I a stinker? Look, I'll prove it. <laughs> How's that for a lucky rabbit's butt? Now it seems like it's behaving itself, but I don't trust it. Meanwhile, the guy at the top with a dumb smile on his face. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. <laughs> Look at this lame ass cheating wabbit. He just keeps on stealing my bullets. I guess when you I guess when you jump through this through the other side it makes the dumb noises. I got eight I got almost what is that, a cracker or eight? How many points do you think I need to get this wonderful intermission? And also, when you get the intermission, to, maybe to beat the level or something to get it to, who knows? I mean, it's like based on levels, not based on points, but it claims to be based on points in the manual. It looked like a cracker, didn't it? Hey, is that... <laughs> isn't, isn't that a, quack, a cracker, Doc? Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I gotta take a dump, Doc. I know I said that before, but I'm just trying to figure out why I keep bending over and showing you my rear end like this, Doc. How can we talk about like? I, I guess I think when he when he's really farting when he like when he t takes the bullets because he's like bending his butt over a little bit and then like. Every time he does it, Elmer Fudd walks away, so it must be like some bad smell or something like that. Come on, let's see, intermission. This is a flaw in the programming, too. They should not let you steal the bullets more than once per, per round. I don't know why this time it's not jumping through the thing. 
It must have said you the elder's position. If it's gonna be really convenient for him to jump through the for, for jump through the thing, then he will. And if it's not inconvenient, then he won't. That's all that I can think of. I know this is boring, and I apologize. What do you think the top score I need to get here? Always asleep. <laughs> At least diminishing points or something. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, this is probably not the absolute fastest way to get points, but it's definitely the fastest way to get points that get your balls blown off. You blow off my rabbit balls, Doc. Do you? There's the cracker again. <laughs> Can you? I, well, I, I want to play it also, but like, I just this is. I don't know. This 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 feels like the right way to play it right now. Can you can you do me a favor? Always asleep. Can you look up and see if you can find any information on this intermission and how one achieves it? Cause I want to see the intermission. That's I mean that's that's why I'm doing this here for the intermission. It'll come. It'll happen so fast. You blink, you'll miss it probably. Uh. Where's it? Where's it at again? It's also an Easter egg too. Uh, I don't even know where the where it says about the intermission anymore. Those carrots at the bottom are dying. Score big and relax with an entertaining intermission featuring Bugs, Alberts, and special friends. Oh, it says after eight levels? Seriously? Ah, oh, jeez. If it's after eight levels, then what I'm doing is a complete waste of time. Alright, so I gotta actually beat eight levels. Why did you tell me that before? So that's one level. That's level one. But you can see, I'm already dead. Also, like, I think part of the thing is, like, right now, like, he's standing right here. So, like, that's... How come, why did I come out of the, of the hole, like, so far away from it? How can you control that? <laughs> Obviously, the top level is the problem. But how do I know where we're going to come out? He, oh, he guess he walks where the carrot is. Interesting. The up and not working so well. Okay. I wonder how many extra lives I got, though, for doing that. That might actually have been worth it for that reason. Well, he had no bullets at that point. I didn't realize that even. Cool. If I get some good visibility on, on where he comes out, that would really help a lot. Because I don't, I don't, when he, I don't, when he appears, I don't know like what directions are going in. And it's not based on that dog. Like, what's where am I going to where am I going to show up now? He only has one bullet too. Oh, jeez. Jeez, get it. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> that was my fault. I shouldn't have to do that. Well, no, you think I'm on now. like the freaking machine gun level. No! 
Oh, crap. Damn it. He... You see, I, I have extra lives because I got all those extra lives. I mean, that... <laughs> Jesus is bad now. I don't kill you. It's all about the timing of jumping in the hole. I hear no, hear no bullets. Looks like I stole them. He's moving so much faster now. Damn, it's hard to avoid him. Shit. The timing is here really good. If you miss if you miss the timing, then you're then you're fucked, basically. Oh my god. Look at that, he just blows you away. And I only have two guys left now. And once he once he jumps, he takes a while to land. So I can't really even do it again. Shit! 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 That time I should have landed in there. Yay! What the hell was that tree? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> that was a freaking. That was like a. Look, wait a second. Hold on. Entertaining intermission. Relax with entertaining intermission featuring Bugs, Albert, and some special friends. I would relax for three seconds. Entertaining intermission. And what's the special friends? The dog. Okay, fine. What was the other thing? A, piece, a tree? A salami? What kind of special friend is that? I think the worst friend, special friend I've ever seen. Always seems to say it's worth it. I, I don't think it was worth it. It was like, shit. How fast is he going to go now? It's my last guy. Oh, it went slow down again. Okay, so it's like you gotta. It, it, it goes back to before, what it was before. So the only way to beat this game, in my opinion, is to cheat, like I was doing originally, and collect lots of extra extra lives. <laughs> and then you can rack up a really high score. And just, you know. But what's the point? I mean, there's no point. It's completely pointless. Or you can play it the way it's intended to be played. But that seems pointless also. I wonder what the Easter egg is. But it seems like nobody knows. So, yeah, I'm not going to waste my time with this. I, I don't know. I guess it's like... It, it's 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 an okay game. But it's missing some polish. I mean, which makes sense. I mean, the programmer finished it. But, like, they didn't really think this through in terms of how this is going to work. And also, I don't really understand how Elmer Fudd's, like, rifle turns into, like, a submachine gun in the later levels. It just seems a little bit cheap to me, but... I mean... Plus, also, when was Elmer Fudd so freaking violent? Always says, this should look not bad. The more you play it, the less interesting it was. Interesting. And also, the struggle with the controls seems real. Well, it's, like, because... It's the way that he he, like... When you when you jump, I figured it out finally. When you jump and he lands, he doesn't. Um, you can't jump again immediately. The animation that needs to finish. And I think over here the reason why I can't steal his bullets right away is because there's some kind of timer on it. You know, you, if you or just stole his bullets the X amount of time, you have to wait a little bit more before let you steal it again. But yeah, basically I, I could do this to get looks like infinite number of guys. And then I can use that to get through all the things. Look, I have two crackers now. You cracker, cracker, cracker. Sorry. Interesting also, he has to go back to the house to replenish the bullets, it looks like. That's why he keeps going back. Not, not because I'm farting, because after I take the bullets away from his gun somehow, he has to go back to his house to reload. And then he gets more of them underneath the house. I don't know why underneath the house, but... 
Play the game up to the 8th level, 11th level, and then get shot while jumping to the right. If you do this correctly, Bugs will hit the ground and BP AM will appear above him. Bob Polaro and Alan Murphy. So this is this is level not this is level nine, right? So I can try it. Bugs will hit the ground. She gets shot while jumping. I mean, it's not so easy to get shot while jumping. I Maybe mean, I can save the state, because I forgot to do that. What, what key does it, Stella? So I'm probably going to mess it up. Let me get a few extra lives. How come he, when he runs... That's interesting, too. You notice, like, Bugs Bunny's, like, um... His mouth is, like, white, which it should be. But when he runs, his eyes are white instead of his mouth. Seems like a, gl like a graphical glitch. He's wearing, he's wearing a raccoon. He's wearing a mask. But he's still... It's like it should be. That must be the Easter egg. I guess someone found it. Where'd you, where'd you read that? Oh, he's asleep. Well, that was the end of my, my farming there. Alright, that's so this should be level ten. We're in the dark web. That's funny. This should be level eleven. So you only get shot while jumping to the right. It's easier said than done. Hey, I did it! It was only on the screen for like a second, though. <laughs> I think it's an AJM. Did it say AJM? Look, it's an AJM, not AM. I guess Alan Murphy was, was the, uh, maybe the guy did all these cute little graphics. I, I have no idea. Yeah, that's, and I ended with a score of 11110, a binary code score. I think that's enough for this. Um, it's, a, it's a cute game. We managed to show the Easter egg and the intermission, but there's not, the, there's not enough to it to make it a, a good game. Um, it's, it's, either too easy if you, if you play it really cheap or it's too hard if you don't play it cheap with a freaking machine gun like, Help! like come here bugs buddy like, I, like that's like not really i don't remember the cartoon they're being like elmer fun with a freaking machine gun but you know what do i know it's been a long time since i played since i watched that show i gotta go back and watch them again anyway i think that's it it's been like 45 minutes that's, that's enough for this game Again, this was Bugs Bunny for the Atari 2600. It's pr pretty rare, I guess, in this state because it wasn't officially released. Uh, there may be some people making some reproduction versions of it, although I haven't seen them, but they're probably out there. But yeah, this is a nice release. came with a manual and the cart, and i um, glad to have it, even though the game is not all that good. But it is a Bugs Bunny game and probably one of the first ones that was created. So thank you to Always Asleep, who was here this whole time and helped me figure out what to do to find the Easter eggs and, to, and, to, and the intermission and not farm the points the whole time. Uh, thank you whoever's lurking watching this. And, uh, you know, watching this, give me a like. If you're watching this after the fact, make sure you're subscribed. I will be doing a lot more Atari 2600 games. I got this one also. Did I show this one recently? Maybe I did, maybe I did I don't know. But I'll show it now. Um... Revenge of the Apes. It's another unreleased game. This is supposed to be like Charlton Heston, like, get out of here, you damn dirty apes. And, uh, you know, it's supposed to be um, Planet of the Apes, but they call it Revenge of the Apes. So another prototype that uh, that I have that we'll play at some point. Got a lot of a lot of Atari 2600 games, a lot of other, um, other stuff to play. So make sure you're subbed. Um, give me a comment. Let me know what you think of this game. And, uh, yeah, by the way, um, the, the, I got a comment on one of the Fade streams, like, today or yesterday, from, from a guy saying he actually was one of the creators of the game, so, 
I, I'm probably going to ask him some questions, but uh, it's always cool when people find these things. So, anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks always to sleep. Have a great night, everybody, and we'll do this again real soon. Uh, peace out, folks.